Hello, there is Fimpos Book Creations and this will be tutorial for PGG Field Planner or Note Graph. I will show here how you can create a bit more complex generator with a Note Graph, describe some nodes, show some feature of the Build Planner Executor component and generate some building layout with it. Field Planner is in a very early stage and now PGG package will focus on developing it. Ok, now the tutorial. To start working with a build planner, let's go to window, impossible creations and build planner and there we have a window, let's dock it. Let's create new build planner preset. I will call it build plan generator. And now we have empty preset and to generate anything we need to have some field planner. So let's add first one. And I will call it corridor. Let's click on some of these icons to open window for field planner, let's dock it. Refresh scene camera position. And to generate layout for something like building, we will use random tunnels shape algorithm. And we can adjust its parameters to get different results. If you want to generate something bigger. But for this example, I will use just default settings. Let's add another fill planner, let's name it rooms, so it will be like different interior. And you see it's created here. We will use random size rectangle shape algorithm on it. I will use just the default parameters for width and depth again. And as you can see with different seeds the shape is a bit different. Now we want to snap this room to the corridor. And for this we will use node graph with tight placement node with align to port we define to which planner room should attach so we write here zeros because corridor is zero planner and you see it works now let's say we want to have like four rooms like this and for this we can use field planner instances parameter and it works now we want to generate something on this layout, so we go to the scene where we need to use build planner executor component. I will just quickly name scene object, add the build planner executor component, select the build planner preset we just worked on, select some field setup so we can generate some objects on these grids. Let's see the preview. Yeah, and hit generate objects. And it works. But well, there is no doorways between the rooms. The walls have thickness of uh, zero units. There are windows between room walls. So we need to handle all of it. First, we will apply some spacing between the walls. And to do this, we can use push out parameter of a tight placement node and you see it added some spacing from the target doorway positioning. The side space parameter is also checking if there is enough space on the left, on the right and on the back of the room. And let's say we want to control these values in the build planner executor inspector window. Let's call this variable separation. Set value from 0 to 1 to have nice slider. I will set default value 0.2 just to test it. Let's add get field planner variable node. And here we have our separation variable. And connect it to the desired port. Alright, actually let's also add it to the side space. So we control it with one variable. Now when we go to build planner executor we will see this variable and here we can control it, adjust it to our models. Yeah, now let's add the comments for the doorways. And tight placement gives us the ports with cells. So we can easily add comments using add counter cell instruction node. And you can check its function node, it's not coded node. So you can take a look what it's actually doing under the hood. So it's adding instructions to provided cells, computing directions and applying provided instruction indexes. 
So let's connect the references to our cells and let's check the preview. And you see instructions are added. Now we want to control what door comments are applied to these instructions. And to do this, let's use another variable. Let's call it door comment. Let it be integer. And toggle this to display instruction selection for the field setup in the build planner executor, as you can see. Let's get reference to this variable, connect to the node. And now we also need doorway command index for the corridor. So let's do similar variable for the corridor. And let's change this value to 4 for debugging. In a while you will see what I meant. Let's add getfield variable node. And connect cell port. Since the cell port contains information about owner planner. Displaying name of a variable of different field planner is not yet implemented, so here we use just index of the variable. And after connecting in and previewing, you see this for value we set it as default value. So it's working. Now let's go to the field planner executor. Let's apply doorhole. Let's generate and see if doorways are generated. And they, they are. Okay, now let's adjust the separation value because now it's just too much spacing. Maybe something like this. Yeah, that will be close enough for the tutorial. And as you remember, there is one more thing to solve. We don't want to create windows if behind it is some wall or other room. And the same for the extension walls like here. So we will detect if there is some wall or some room behind wall and we will add instructions which will forbid for spawning objects with window tag or ext tag. Alright, so let's go back to the field planner. If you think about it, first, whole layout must be completed and set it up so we can correctly detect the walls. So we want to call some logics after all other graphs are executed. And for this, we will use post procedures graph. Now we want to check each cell of each room. If it encounters some contact with our grid in available outside direction. And in the while you will see better what I mean. Let's add the nodes to check direction on each cell. So if you want to check this cell, it will have outside direction to the right. This lower cell will have direction to the right and to down. On the left, just down. And that's what iterate cell outside their node is doing. With step debug mode, you can check how the iteration of a node graph is progressing. And you see that loop is going through every cell of each room. Now let's check if there is contact in this direction. Let's assign ports. And we could go from here to here with a cell port, but it looks a bit dirty. So let's use local variable instead. Assign port, call it iteration cell, assign it here. And later we will use this variable again with get local variable node. Now let's define what we want to detect with a contact check and it will be all instances of the rooms, excluding self. And to this group, we want to add the corridor. So let's get the corridor planner this way with the selector node. Let's put these planners together so they are grouped. And there we have it. And now again, we can check with step the back what's going on. And now going step by step, you see that the contact is detected. So now we can do something with the detected cells. Contact in direction node is calling iteration execution even if there is no cell detected. So we need to check if detected cell isn't null. And we can quickly handle it with this node. We can add cell instruction. 
connect the contact cell to it. And here finally we can prevent spawning of the windows and extension walls tags. You can control it with a variable, but for this tutorial we will quickly do it hard-coded like. And on the preview you see that the instructions are added correctly. But also let's prevent spawning windows and extension walls for inside rooms. So let's get our local variable of iteration cell, so cell of the room which is checking the contact collision. Connect it and check on the preview if it works and it seems everything is working correctly. Let's go back to build planner executor and generate the level. And yeah, it seems there is no mistake with a window wall to the room or extension walls. And this whole interior is generated with some more control. Alright, as last thing, we can use override to change some settings of each instance of a room. And we will use also new feature of PGG, which is compositions, which allows to freely change prefabs, which will gonna be spawned, or change some initial variables. And yeah, now the room here have different floor, as I said it. So now you will be able to create some highly customized interior layouts. And that's all for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful for you. I need to say again that Field Planner is in a very early stage, so there will be improvements to make working with it easier. There will be more nodes and more possibilities. If you will have some questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. Subscribe, hit the like to see more. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.